It is a fountain of khair and source of good. Complete khair and goodness is within this. Now it's a very long subject to understand, but it's khair upon khair, and the greatest thing within it is khair. And alongside that, and on top of that, Allah Ta'ala's pleasure is contained within that item, within that, you could say, action maybe. And on top of that, Allah Ta'ala's rada, Allah Ta'ala's pleasure and happiness is contained there. And Allah Ta'ala has also put this effect, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, that this item or action will take one to paradise and take one far from hellfire. And the effect is also that it makes a person the muqarrib of Allah, the friend of Allah, the wali of Allah, and makes a person qareeb and close to Allah, muqarrib. So what is an amazing thing this is, my friends? An amazing thing. So shall I tell you what is that thing? In which Allah Ta'ala has put this effect, it is called the good deeds. Subhanallah, good deeds. Good deeds is the item, the action, the factor, the element of life that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has advised us to do. That if a good deed is small, don't in, in, in magnitude, don't consider it as insignificant. And that person will scream in his or her qabr, grave, Oh, foolish people, I didn't consider this as a good deed. Rasulullah said the truth, that wherever you get the opportunity to get this good deed, and whenever you do, beware, never leave this deed in any way. Jump onto this deed, grab this deed, implement this deed, it will be very beneficial. And never think it's small, minor, it's not big. Whatever, Whenever you get the opportunity to implement this good deed, and you know that this is a good deed. And straight away when you see that opportunity, grab it. And the people of Iman, the people of belief, mashallah, they should make this a soul, this principle, we have no guarantee what's going to happen in life. We have no guarantee about our life. When is life going to pass away? Let's take one good deed. The example, that within a few seconds from that deed, he attained everything. And let's give another example of another deed. And it's very close to us. It's regular common. We don't have to look for it. We don't have to hunt it. We can do this deed left, right, morning and evening. Whenever we want, there's an opportunity. Why don't we do this deed? What's the reason? Why don't we pay attention to this fact? We have to think about this. So, what was that deed? That was an ajeeb, ajeeb example. The sea of good deeds. Allahu Akbar. In other words, so simple, so simple. What? That one second, two seconds, three seconds, what will he attain that person? By doing this, that one million sins removed. Say subhanAllah. This is such an easy deed to implement. And that's why, show me, is there any action we can do that will eliminate one million sins? And we'll see the punishment for one sin. And we'll see that in thereafter. But from this action, one million sins eliminated from our deed books, book of deeds. Number two, one million Rank, one million stages, one million levels elevated. So one million, in within a second in Jannah, your rank will increase within a second. And one million, one million accepted maqbool good deeds will be written in our book of deeds, in your book of deeds. For doing this action. No need to go on hajj to buy a plane ticket, no umrah, no wudu, no maza, no enjoyment, no prayer mat, nothing. What is the achievement of this good deed? And we can do this deed every day if we want to, all the time. What is this deed? La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika law lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamdu yuhyi wa yumitu hayyu la yimutu biyadika al-khayr wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated the one an individual is walking in the marketplace or passing by the marketplace and he recites this kalima.